Welcome back to the Pokemon redesign series. So today we are working on a new take on the unknown. So if you don't remember my criticism of the unknown, basically what bothers me is that they are supposed to represent uh, an unknown language and none of the NPCs can read them, but they clearly look like Latin alphabet characters and the player character can read them. We can go to the puzzle chambers and we can read the words that are at the back and understand, you know, what to do. My original idea for how to fix the unknown came from the words that are associated with each unknown letter in the unknown mode of the Pokedex. You, you had to catch each form of the unknown to unlock what it represented in the unknown decks. But that actually had no real function in the games. So I thought, what if the unknown were more abstract, uh, more like ideograms or pictograms? So they're symbols that directly represent a, a concept or a thing rather than being words. So then you'd have to catch each of the unknown in order to find out what they mean before you can understand the writing. So that way there's a real challenge to the unknown quest. You have to collect them if you want to understand what they're trying to tell you. Some of the unknown dex words are pretty boring though, uh, even a little bit repetitive, like unknown F is for find and unknown S is search. <laughs> so uh, I picked three other words that I felt were a little more interesting and we're gonna try to come up with a symbol for each one. So I chose unknown B for bear uh, which I took in the sense of support, unknown J for join, and unknown V for vanish. My idea for the base is, well, there's two ideas. So one option is that it's just a black ball. It would be a little bit like, like Meltan's eye, I mean, in that it's just a ball, like that's the eye. <laughs> so the other option is that the main unknown body is a ball, but it still has that more traditional unknown eye look to it. The first thing I thought of for a symbol for support was a pillar. So that would be the unknown that represents bear for support. The next one that we're going to do is join. So I thought of a chain link, well, you know, two, two things together. One option of that is more like chain where it's a little more elongated. And the other one that I thought of was to do it more like the Olympic circles and how they kind of overlap. I don't know that it's possible to make the unknown cute. I mean, the unknown, the way that the unknown can be cute is the way they move, which is not really something that I can draw. If you have other ideas of how to make it cuter, that's fine. I don't know if necessarily the unknown have to be cute. Yes, a lot of symbols began as something representing an animal, but they don't look like animals anymore. You can't make every symbol out of an animal, is the problem. If you have an idea of how to show join, as as an animal in the way in a way that still looks like an animal and still looks like a symbol still looks like a word then then please let me know actually is there a pokemon that is two things tied together or held together if a language was coming out of the pokemon world based on the natural world it would probably use pokemon as their basis I think out of the ones that are based on Pokemon, I think Clink is the one that works the best. But now the thing is that this one is based on a Pokemon, but now we have the bear one that doesn't. So what are some Pokemon that can represent the concept of bearing, of supporting something? There's Torterra, which actually has like a tree on its back.
Actually, Torterra works well because it takes the both the the bear as in support because it's like it's the ground and it's a world turtle kind of thing but it, it also has the tree growing on it so there's the concept of bear as in give life to so i like torterra yeah i like that <laughs> the third word that i had chosen was vanish i kind of like the idea of kecleon <laughs> I don't know, I guess I kind of like it, but it's very, it's very funny.
So we've got here B for Bear, aka the Torterra Unknown, V for Vanish, aka the Kecleon Unknown, and we've got J for Join, aka the Clink Unknown. And I'm really happy with all of them. So I think it's time we move on to part two of the stream. <laughs> While I was brainstorming unknown shapes, I came across what I think is an even better idea for how the unknown could work. Because the problem with using the unknown deck's words as the basis for the unknown is that it would be really difficult to construct complex sentences from them, even if you had a lot of different symbols with each symbol only representing one very specific concept, it would be really difficult to make more complex sentences out of it. But I discovered a constructed language, which is called Blissymbolics. In Bliss Symbolics, uh, well, it's meant to be a universal language, so it's made of really simple, recognizable shapes that can be combined to represent more complex ideas. This is just some of the basic symbols, but for example, if you take the symbol for hand, which is over here, and it's just this and this, and if you take the symbol for closed, which is just a square, and you combine them with something like this, well, now you have a symbol for a closed hand or a fist. Uh, and then you can also add the intensity indicator, which is just an exclamation mark. So you could do this, boop, and now it's a punch. If any of you are curious about this, uh, I'm gonna put some links in the description. I really like this kind of modular visual language. It's like, it's a really cool idea. Uh, the system of radicals in Chinese writing is kind of similar as well. Uh, and so with something like this, you can make complex sentences as long as you have enough variety in characters. And all you have to do is find a way of breaking down the higher concepts that you want to represent into their most basic forms. But for this part, I don't actually want to do the words from the unknown decks. I want to do a more real world uh, approach to it. So we're going to try to make some symbols that to represent the words that you see at the back of the puzzle chambers. So the first one that we're going to do is escape. Well, escape was the word written in the back of the puzzle chamber, but it was really referring to the escape rope. So I broke that down into rope. I think rope is basic enough and then move and out to represent escape. So we'll need one symbol for each of those. What would be a good Pokemon to represent rope? Is there a Pokemon with rope on it? Or are we just gonna <clears throat> have to use a snake? So let's say that we stick with this one. We still need to come up with a symbol for move and a symbol for out. Pokemon for out Cosmog because Nebby just won't stay in the bag. Cosmog does also represent like outer space and like ultra space, I suppose. So it's actually not bad. Uh, not a bad option for out. 
So what are other Pokemon that escape? Uh, Wimpod. Maybe we can do Wimpod. Wimpod is the Pokemon that means... I mean, it could specifically mean escape, and then we just put the, the superior Wimpod, uh, meaning the escape rope. Actually, like, maybe Ekans would even be a better rope because it's such a simple snake. The other word I want to try out is light. Well, light is what it says in the back of the chamber. What it's really talking about is the move flash. So I thought of an eye for sight. We would need a Pokemon that has really good eyesight, maybe? Or a Pokemon that just has a very prominent eye. <laughs> and the sun to represent light. So either a Pokemon that, that glows or a Pokemon that looks like the sun, like Solrock, which is an easy one. What about Lantern or and Chinchou for light in general? Maybe. Pokemon that represent sight. Zatu, maybe, yeah? It's like kind of like the Kecleon, you only need the face. Now let's figure this out. Well, not rip figure this out, so we've figured it out. Let's render it. I'm gonna start with the escape one, and I think I will go with Ekans. I just had an idea. The eyes could actually be facing the thing that they are related to. So like, if they're looking at each other, they go together, like that's how you make higher concepts. And so like in this case, they actually don't need to be facing each other. For the escape rope, it doesn't matter because rope is one thing and escape is another by itself. But light and sight, so those are two separate things. But in this case, because they mean flash, they're like being used together to mean one thing. They look at each other. I really like that. The idea of Pokemon being the code of the Pokemon universe. I definitely support that idea. I, I like that theory, but this was something that I was actually going to say uh, as part of the outro to this video. But yeah, uh, I, I definitely like the idea of the unknown being the code, but, or the way I see it anyways, is that that theory is more of a fan theory than something that's canonical. And the idea of the unknown being an ancient language and the idea that they are more powerful when combined than individually that's definitely canonical i think that these this concept in particular where they have a meaning by themselves but they can mean more different things when they're combined like we, we preserve that i think and that's a that's a good thing
there we go. I think that's it. Well, we've got light. We've got escape. That's it for today. Huge thanks to the stream chat for their feedback and for pushing me to have the best possible ideas. We'll be back with another redesign next month, but you can vote right now for which Pokemon we should focus on. The options are Cast Form, Dusclops, and Registeel, and the link to the Twitter poll is in the description. Please let me know what you thought of these unknown designs in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I'm Umbreon Libris, and I'll see you in the next chapter.